You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're smart. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for your time. I'm grateful for your knowledge. I'm grateful for your comments. I'm grateful for your beautiful, amazing spirit. You putting out good energy wherever you are. You putting out good energy amongst the people that you're around. I'm appreciative of all that because I may run into them and I may get good energy just because of you. So I thank you for paying it forward with good energy and being positive. Um, I usually don't even cover topics like this because I just think certain topics and certain things are very divisive. We're going to get into that. But um, let's hear the first part. Literally, she says, I got a good job. I make very, very good money. And she says, the only thing I need now is a man. <laughs> it's like, yo, like, <laughs> like, who wants you? Who wants you? you you're right. right. Like, once you have achieved these things, you have unfortunately disqualified yourself. Ooh, and, and, shit. And what it is, is these, because I, and this is the thing. I'm not blaming Ooh, the women. The women are going to hate him for that shit. Like, thing. No, <laughs> no, see, the they are going to hate him for they, that. They should I can't wait to put this shit out. And see, in hearing that, right? To me, it's like, it's like men expressing their cowardice, but trying to blame women. But I shy away from these conversations because I think that it's just divisive all around. I think that if you really want to get to the bottom of everything, you will let people handle things outside of social media and really have like a, a major discussion amongst themselves about how they want their relationship to go not be these generalized experiences from individuals but whatever point in making this video is this number one what does it mean for us to have all these conversations about what do you bring to the table the woman say she bring everything and you say i don't want you no more what does it mean number two women exceeding expectations and being all they can be is not a negation of your manhood or masculinity if you feel that way it is show that your shit is fragile Number three, as a college professor, you know that studies show that female college students will literally dim their light in order to appeal to their male counterparts because they recognize that men's fragile masculinity will make it where, man, I don't get to feel like a man if you know more than me, head ass. Number four, y'all make all dudes with podcasts look like some misogynistic ass suckers, bro. And speaking of suckers, that takes me to number five, man. What y'all just seen was an illustration of sucker solidarity where you have grown-ass men trying to appeal to other suckers by demeaning women. Sucker solidarity. Number six, y'all want to go back to the past so bad because how dare a woman be high achieving? You want to go back to the times when women have to have a man and have a bank account and have a house and pay, pay bills, huh? Just say that. And I fall in line with what th this gentleman is saying because I just understand more like what is the self-defense mechanism that goes off inside of a man that says oh my god this woman this this woman um is i don't know this woman is better than me this woman is this woman has more than me i, I don't have anything to offer her she's like why would she have her life together and want you and you take that as a threat that that it, it wouldn't like it doesn't add up to me looking at a, looking at a person in general i don't even want to say women just looking at a person in general and go oh they already have everything so they don't need me like that i, I, I mean if that's the way you want to think about it that's your perspective okay but i would say if a person shows interest if a person shows that they want you regardless of where they are in life, that's for you to decide, you know, but I don't know. Obviously you wouldn't choose any, I wouldn't say obviously, but you most likely wouldn't choose anyone that was, you know what I mean? Not having the best life, I guess at the, you know, I don't know how to say that, but you're definitely gonna, you know, want your person to be, you know, kind of whole and kind of put together. And I think to be intimidated by that in any way, is weird you know what i mean and then he said this part here number seven i'm convinced that jeff bezos and the cia is dropping down all these podcast mics to the plantation patriarchs to be able to bite back on some of that unity that we was able to get in 2020. number eight i'm having a hard time believing that a woman told him i've achieved all these things i make this money i just need a man i'm having a hard time believing that it sounds like you're just trying to make a point what university or school did everybody go to over the pandemic that made them relationship gurus now what, what, what's the university called? Kevin Samuels University? 
Conclusion, if the one dude say he not blaming women for being high achievement, then who is he blaming? And the other dude, why are you so happy to gaslight women and putting this one up? You're gonna make them mad, uh, why? Because why would you, why would you want to gaslight, or not even gaslight, but why why is it, oh, wait till the, wait till the ladies hear this? I understand that you, we want to create content. I understand, but one, the conversation is divisive. You're only speaking to a certain niche crowd. But two, is like, oh, wait till the women hear this, like... Like you ain't really say nothing. You just you just showed how soft you were. You just show how scared you are. You know what I mean? To be yourself, to have a woman accept you for where you are and accept her for where she at. If you if that's what people fuck up with attraction and compatibility. You looking at somebody, you into them. They looking back at you. They into you like it's a it's a first sight kind of thing. Like and you're intimidated because she drives a Ferrari, you drive a Honda, and she's still coming up to you and don't care nothing about your Honda. You got, or vice versa for the ladies, like, oh, he, he probably too good because he rich, or he probably a cheater, or he probably, like, or or because he well off, or because he take care of himself, or because he live by himself and he can handle all his finances. Like, it's like, nah, you, you losing out with these perspectives. You losing out just like, saying oh this person is this way or you know this person is this way based on this outside perspective it's like you're losing out especially if someone's trying to get to know you and when a lot of times when it's a uh, uh, an attraction when it comes to relationship type of attraction people know what they like people are already into what they're into so i just find it really weird that a woman would be into you and you would be less wanting to uh, date her because she has her shit together. It's like, nah, baby, I need you to have some bad credit. I need, I need, I need your card. I almost about to be repo, baby, before I fuck with you. Like, is because that is that the opposite? Is that the? I, I don't know. Because that to me that sounds crazy when I said it. So I don't know if that's the opposite. I don't agree with everybody on the internet. I just don't understand the logic of being intimidated by someone who is okay. I need you to. I need you to need a therapist. Like I need you to not be so well put together. Like well, I help me. Help, whoa, whoa. And then we're talking about toxic female behavior and toxic male behavior. And then you're like, no, I need you to be some kind of toxic or I need you to be some kind of, and it's like, okay, you're, if so facto, you're going to say, oh, you're putting, you're, you're, you're putting words. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Okay. If so facto, what are you saying? Cause you didn't say what you're saying. You just said what you're not, you know what I'm saying? What you're opposed to. And when it comes to positivity in life and trying to live a good life, one would want someone that has got their shit together versus someone who doesn't. So what are you saying? Like, what is the opposite? Like, can, like educate me. You know what I mean? That's, that's another thing too. educate, educate the people because that, that, oh, they're going to be mad at this one. They're not, you don't make any sense. They're not, they're not going to be mad at this one. You make no sense at all at all and the only women who would well I'll, I'll leave that alone y'all know what i say once we all up stuck like that it's just different it's the whole thing different you know what i mean like everything about it is different you know what i mean like first of all i don't drop i don't do Tapes, I don't drop music, I don't drop tapes with people. Mm -hmm. The first shit we ever did was amazing, so, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, it's just, it's just kind of, you know what I mean? Like, just boy game. I've been so real, I don't know what else to feel. I like to run up a bill, I like to touch her and tell. She ain't get wetter than they told her. I got the groove, they smell it on you. I got the sauce, I rock it off. I don't know what the fuck they told you. I've been so real. I don't know what else to feel. I like to run up a bill. I like to touch her and tell. She ain't get wetter than they told me. 
I got the groove, the smell it on it. I got the sauce, I rock these sauce. I don't know what the fuck they told me. I've been so real. Took a year when they fucked up a bag. Had some friends, but they went out sad. Just like stats. Put out my gas to talk a little shit. You to subscribe, then get out my dick. Deep pick a side, you don't roll with the click. My cousin Buck, yeah, that's my best friend. The latest died and we gon' kill him again. You can't figure it out and you can't make a miss. What it's about, say it again. Lighting my blunts with the saber that Vader got. That potato will turn you to tater tot. See you later, I'll come back with bigger knots. Why you love that little hoe, I got different dots. Don't just look at my trip, I will dry you out. And this Draco could send a whole roundabout. Ask your favorite little bitch with that mouth about. On the set, I don't know how to talk it out. So I talk about money and bitches to cover the fact that I really won't chalk you out. Hey, little boy, it's best that you watch your mouth. Making all of them threats from your mama couch. I'm the vet who put down your dog. You can't fuck with my shine, I'm a bow. I'm just a real. I don't know what else to feel. I like to run up a bill. I like to touch her and tell. She ain't get wetter than it's on her. I got the groove, they smell it on you. I got the sauce, I rock me dope. I don't know what the fuck they told you. I've been so real.